What's going on everybody? So today is an exciting day. I've been farming for like the last two and a half weeks um, on one thing and that is the artifact material ray. There's been very few exceptions to this with maybe some of the, the promoting events. I had to do a little bit of XP farming, but we have been saving for quite some time. And as you'll see here, we have 6,000 flawless meteorites. Now, this is going to be an exciting day, mainly because I actually only have like seven or eight mythic artifacts, excluding uh, or, or including the ones that you get for free uh, from the events that we've been doing. So this is definitely like a huge game changer. If I happen to pull, you know, like the crystal for the fighters, um, the tier, you know, that would be fantastic. Even like something like the flawless blade or void gaze, like all the different ones that we're kind of looking for. So it's going to be a massive, massive artifact uh, opening session, which um, hopefully we get something good, right? There's a 20% chance that we summon one every single time we summon. So every 10 pull, ideally, is going to give us two of them. Definitely doesn't work that way, but we have 150 summons, which means that we should be somewhere around 30 of them being mythic artifacts. So let's not waste any more time and let's just go for our first 10 pull here and see what we're going to end up getting. Starting off here with two of them. All right. So we have the Elijah Folos here, which is a healer exclusive. Increase the healing effect by 3% for every one ally unit in range, stacking up to four times. Uh, this does get quite, quite strong because you're going to be able to ramp that up. But uh, pretty solid one to start off with. This is really going to help out your healers and someone that I did not have before. We also got the jungle relic, which, uh, well, a little bit worse, right? I, this just increases your healing effect by 30. So you could see here if you have 12% healing effect, that's going to be, well, potentially a little bit better in situations where you have a lot of healing effect. But honestly, you actually get a better healing effect amount from the jungle relic. It's just that you have to be at maximum HP, which doesn't actually happen all that often things like guild boss for example so uh, it's just something to keep in mind so two healer ones to start us off with both of them i did not have before uh next up we have the blood bond signet and ajax's rage i think i have um ajax's rage but i don't believe i have the blood bond signet uh if i remember correctly so the blood bond signet just gives you a bunch of crit damage for the loss of max hp fantastic for your marksman that's the type of stat boost that you want. And then the Ajax's Rage, gonna give you a bunch of crit damage every single time you crit hit. Basically, this accounts to 25% crit damage, which is a pretty massive bonus for your mages. Another two that are both, honestly, on the better side of artifacts. Here we go, first 10 pull that is just a complete whiff, 20% chance, by the way. And uh, right now we are way below rate and yet again only one of them being a mythic received healing 20 percent regal majesty i did happen to have this one before uh, it's a solid one your defenders are going to be the ones that are hit getting hit uh any sort of healing buff is going to be just a solid not one of my favorite ones but it's just decent so we've summoned um what is that 40 and we've gotten five so far wow we're super below rate <laughs> uh wow we're, oh my goodness another whiff here legendary ones i have basically all of them so i'm not really looking for those ones at all the only one that might be interesting is edril's gaze um for our, the marksman but another jungle relic so cool and the eye of sin though this one's interesting so it's gonna increase aoe damage and also giving you more aoe damage whenever you kill someone so <sighs> this one's good for any sort of fighter that's going to be able to get you a lot of aoe damage out so let's say uh, you hit with a um arrogance who's got his ultimate up you just slap boom get a bunch of aoe damage out increases that damage but to be honest for my fighters this is pretty mediocre so i'm not super excited about that uh really really poor showing for these artifacts so far jeez Okay, here we go. We got a three pull here, another jungle relic, and another Elijah Folios here. But now we got a flawless blade. So this one's pretty nice. It uh it's just gonna increase your damage every four seconds, which is really, really nice for any kind of fighter that doesn't really take a ton of damage. So if you have like a Zilla 2 or an Arrogance who's able to like hit from afar, not really tank too much damage, this is really, really solid. But 
in guild boss well you will be attacked so you will get some of those stacks removed that's just kind of how it goes um so pretty solid one but like not an insane one another temple here come on give it give me something good give me something good oh my goodness we whiffed again wow holy moly wow this is like really atrocious we've whiffed on three of them so far and we've had a couple single pull another whiff oh my oh oh i cannot believe we just whiffed again no way we got one and it's an ajax is wow this is like <laughs> this is like the biggest scam i've ever seen man like this these raids are so bad there's so bad you know what uh, honestly like i can't even believe that they're 20 percent um oh i have to sell some artifacts but i can't actually believe that they're they're 20 percent right now because of the the kind of summon um problems that we've had in the game like oh man it is just it is just brutal but uh, let's go ahead and just sell a bunch of these I keep a few of these because i have using them to promote some other characters um i think these ones are actually quite good the ancestral teachings but let's go ahead and sell those i think that was what 50 yeah so 50 okay should give us enough for the remainder of these pulls let's go ahead and just pull a couple of these um legendary forges maybe we can get a couple mythic ones uh, you know we're kind of uh reduce our tragedy here by just pulling a couple of legendary ones maybe we pull we yeah, pulled an angel's gaze there uh maybe we pull a mythic one out of here and, and uh help our cause doesn't look like it doesn't look like it okay 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 i'm done with that another 10 pull here please do not whiff another time okay so we got two we got another eye of sin we got another elijah and folios once again we're getting many many duplicates part of me is starting to think that the kind of rate skewing that summons have also applies to the mythic forge here of the forge because there are so many I don't have, and yet we've gotten so many duplicates. Like, we don't have another messenger. Um, I don't have a gift of hope. I don't have the ice ring. I don't have the crystal. Like, there's just so many I'm missing, and, and we're getting so many duplicates here. Another Ajax's Rage, another Regal Majesty. Hey, we got the Nether Messenger. So the Nether Messenger is fantastic. So anytime we're dealing damage to the same target, we get 5% damage increases. That's just 15% damage, period, if you're in guild boss. Just straight up 15% extra damage. Huge for like Silas or Setrim when you're just dealing a ton of the same damage. Of course, in stages, it's going to be a lot worse. But for like guild boss, oh man, this is a fantastic pull. One of my most wanted actually, because I do have Silas, I do have Setrim, and uh, I'm just going to immediately go on to them because of the massive damage amp that's going to create. So pretty happy about that one uh but uh another whiff oh my goodness oh and oh there's no it can't be it can't no it can't be it can't be <laughs> all right we've at least we finished off with a with a triple pull uh we ended up getting goddess's grace which is uh, <laughs> um it, it's solid you know we uh we get basically 19 percent extra defense on our defenders which actually can be decent uh the holy radiance which gives you a ton of additional damage when you hit 10 basic attacks and then you also restore hp but the damage is pretty mediocre on a you know defender and its restoration is not a ton and then the sharpshooter's crest uh we're just gonna get a massive the AoE damage increase. This one's actually very good on any AoE damager that you can keep manage to keep the enemies away. So that one's also quite nice. That one I did not have before, but wow, that was way, way worse than I was hoping for. Like so much worse. And we got so many duplicates that I really didn't want. I was really, really hoping for like multiple nether messengers because I could put them on Silas and Cetrim. I was hoping for like uh, the crystal of vileness so we could use it on our fighters. I was just really hoping for a lot more. And like I farmed for a week and a, two and a half weeks for that trash. And it's not like I farmed two and a half weeks, like just pure time. Like that's just the standard energy. Like I was using multiple energy refills. Like I want to say I invested, I don't know, like oh, over 10, maybe multiple tens of thousands of energy on this amount of uh, mythic 
dust uh, or the flawless meteorites and we managed to get like some pretty trash uh polls here like way way below average but all right i mean that's kind of the end of that you know <laughs> really discouraging from farming more artifact material but um I, it is something that you just have to do and you're gonna have to continue to do or i'm gonna have to continue to do it so i can upgrade some of those artifacts but man that was really sad to see really really sad to see but uh you know what that's that's how it is so hopefully you all enjoyed and uh let me know if you felt the same about this mythic mythic artifacts like have you all felt the same about getting like very much duplicates or like really really low rates on it i've always felt like it's just super low i, I mean it says 20 percent, so the vast majority of me wants to believe that but what we've seen of the summon rates makes me really reconsider that uh that rate and i mean 150 pulls and we are way below average on that and it's not like it's it's like a five percent or a one percent rate it's like a, it's a 20 percent rate Oof. well thanks for watching i'll see you all for the next one <laughs>